Yeah, really. This is Lena's granddaughter. Yeah, yeah, okay. Fantastic. We're just trying to figure out what they're gonna do and how it's gonna look. Well, Dennis and I have been trying to figure that out too. And from talking with Tony, the owner, uh, they're gonna basically uh, leave it as a one-story house and uh, uh, raise up the, the ceilings to make it uh, a little bit higher. We have no idea what they've decided to do with the garage. Well, I'm it was surprised they took the, yeah, the roof off. It was completely roofed, uh, and they were going to leave it the way it was, but uh, they've changed that around. The so we doors are new, right? There. The glass doors are new. We think they're going to move uh, the patio out further because we think those are posts for the patio. Yeah, that's And they're going to extend too. this area out into a new, another room, maybe a shop or something like that. So this is all this is all services, right? Yeah, Water right, exactly. or toilets yeah, or something? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they've got a three-year-old daughter, so they. Uh, this is where the pool used to be. This right. pool right used to sit right, right there. Yeah, yeah right yeah. about there. And uh, it, uh, it, uh, and of course Dennis took care of it. And then the pre the next owner after that, they completely pebble teched it. He spent a bundle of money on it, and they tore it up. They filled it up with rock to begin with, and then dug it completely out and tore it and put it away. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, Wow. The backyard was never really much after Dennis and Kitty left because uh, the gentleman that lived in here uh, lived by himself. He was basically a landscaper, mm -hmm. but he hated doing irrigation and everything like that, so he let the yard in the back go to pot. Uh, but, uh, but still, those trees look good to me. Oh, they've stayed yeah. in great shape. The trees have really stayed in great shape. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. And they added the, uh, he, uh, the owner that came in uh, that bought it from Dennis and Kitty, the, he put in that garage, the addition to the garage. We don't know what they planned on doing here because they started stuccoing that with cement, but then they stopped. So we have no idea what the plan there was, but uh, uh, I was just telling him that uh, they uh, they covered in the pool. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he's got a three-year-old daughter, so they don't plan on putting a pool in until she gets larger and they're gonna put it out someplace in the middle of the yard. Okay. He was gonna flip the house. Yeah. But he decided that uh, it was a, a good thing to have. He liked the neighborhood, he liked the size of the plots, so he decided to keep it. And his wife really wanted to keep it too. Yeah, so that's why they decided to go ahead. He happens to be a builder, okay. uh, but he's not building this house. He's got a builder that's a partner that is going to build the outside and then he's going to do the inside. Huh. Uh, so uh, that's, uh, you know, the whole thing as far as that part of it goes. But uh, you know the time frame? He's talking six months. Okay. Uh, sometime possibly in June or July, they hope to have it finished. Okay. But, you know, who knows? It took him forever to get permits for the place to begin with. Oh. Uh, they just started doing this basically uh, about a month ago. But, oh, my uh, God. Yeah, the, but the neighborhood's changed. Uh, Two months ago, we could have come. Well, and I heard last week it was really rainy. Yeah, it was. So it was. Yeah. It actually right. doesn't look too bad if it's, it was raining all week. Yeah, and they haven't really been. No, going they to haven't been. Busted, no, honestly. and they haven't been rushing it. No, no, they really haven't. All that pipe over there is all new. Uh, yeah. And, uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, Dennis probably filled you in that Tom that lived across the street where. Uh, the, yeah, I haven't told him anything. Oh, well. Uh, Tom lived, moved yeah. in here with his mom and grandmother and father and stepfather at the same time that my mom and dad moved in on the house on the other side. Yeah. And so we all basically were all new neighbors together, you know. And this time of year, Thanksgiving that we just had, uh -huh. the first two Thanksgivings that we had, we shut the street off and we put tables all the way down and had Thanksgiving Aww. here with the whole neighborhood. That sounds like. And we did that Plymouth. a couple of years. Yeah. Plymouth Plantation, yeah. right? Yeah, here. that's exactly what we did. We kind of we kind of <laughs> decided, hey, we own the street, so that's you great. can do whatever we want to do, you know. Yeah, you can. And then of course as the kids got older and as I got older, you know, I, I went to ASU, so I stayed here while I was going to ASU, but then I got commissioned in the army okay. and I went into the service okay. and uh, I didn't really uh, come back until 1976. And then I joined the Phoenix Police Department. Okay. So my parents stayed here. In fact, they were here until they passed away. My mom passed away in 2004, and my dad passed away in 2012. In fact, I took care of my dad uh, from 2004 to 2012. Mm -hmm. I took early retirement from the department, moved back in with them to help my mom. She had congestive heart failure, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, he had Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. and, but he was a 40-year Air Force man. That's what brought us down here to Arizona in 1963. He uh, got transferred to Luke Air Force Base. And he spent uh, the next years there until uh, 1984. But. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Dad's right here. <laughs> but uh, so it all kind of changed. Some of the houses went through th through three or four different people, you know, and uh, a couple of them got remodeled. The one down on the very end got remodeled after the people. They, it went through three or four different families. The one next to me who got remodeled, it went through a couple of families. My parents decided to go ahead and stay, and Tom decided to stay. Tom's per uh, mother and stepfather and grandmother passed away, and so he stayed on. And uh, my brother and I 
did lots of stuff with Tom as we were going through high school. But then as I moved out and got uh, tied up and my brother moved out and everything like that, uh, Dennis moved in here and he got to know Tom. And so basically Dennis took, uh, took over uh, and uh, he and Tom did a lot of stuff. Okay. They went boating and ski doing and they did everything. I mean, it was, it was amazing that Tom confined to a wheelchair mm -hmm. could do as much as he did because <laughs> he broke his neck and had a spinal uh, column problem. So he was confined to a wheelchair, but he had a power chair uh, down the road later on, but he did everything. He worked on cars, he worked on trucks, he worked on anything. And as I said, they went out, they went out uh, uh, sea doing, they went out ski, uh, uh, boating. Uh, they had uh, uh, four wheelers that they took up into the mountains. In fact, uh, back 